Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Alessio Rostani, and I'm here actually I'm presenting for Core Finance. Now, in uh, this particular uh, video, what we're going to talk about is Bitcoin, what's happening with Bitcoin. So, um, actually, I've been talking about Bitcoin now for, you know, uh, over a year now on my own uh, channel and, uh, and, of course, here on Core Finance. I want to dig into a subject which is close to my heart, uh, which is about uh, projections on Bitcoin. Now, here's, before I actually go into this chart, um, what I want to tell you is this. I'm actually bullish on Bitcoin. I've been bullish on Bitcoin now for several uh, months. Now, that might come as a surprise to you, um, but the bottom line is that I, uh, I've said this before and I'm still saying again, as long as Bitcoin remains above 6,000, I continue to remain bullish on Bitcoin. I'm expecting a breakout to the upside. But here's, here's the question we want to ask in this video, which is, you know, there is still a risk. There is a risk that Bitcoin could actually break the floor and breaks that 6,000, 5,900 floor. What happens next? Okay, so uh, what we're going to try and do is figure out if Bitcoin, if, if there is still this risk that Bitcoin could break that floor, how much lower could we go, all right? Um, so one of the tools that uh, I'm, I'm going to show you one method that we apply. This is a method that actually is quite popular in technical analysis and chart analysis. And in fact, it's, uh, it's a favorite of my, a good friend of mine, Simon Shepard, who's a mathematician, and he uses this particular methodology called symmetrical projections. And what we're going to do, as that chart shows, guys, is we measure the most recent peaks in Bitcoin, measure from the recent peaks down to the floor or the most strong support level near the 6,000 or the 5,900 level. As a matter of fact, I've drawn that line, that red line, you see horizontal line there, that's at a 6,000 level. Uh, you might say, well, why did you pick that level? Why not a slightly different? Well, you know what? We had to choose a level and we're just going to have to stick with it for the moment. So if we measure from the most recent peaks, you see those blue lines on the chart there? Those uh, recent peaks we saw, we formed in July and in September. If we project those peaks the, the, from the peak to the, to the uh, support level and we project them lower symmetrically, so that's a 100% projection to the downside, that can give us an idea of likely targets if Bitcoin, and it's a big if, if it were to break that support and fall below 6,000, which, you know, I don't expect, but again, there is still this risk. And you can see the first target we got is 4,500, which is, um, as, as a matter of fact, I've, I've heard uh, other people uh, mention this level, 4,500, but uh, if it goes below 4,500, then we get another target, 3,500 is going to be there, there below it. And so that's two downside projections on Bitcoin if Bitcoin actually breaks that floor and plunges below it. By the way, I know some people are watching this video and they're going to think there's no way Bitcoin could possibly go down that low. Um, never be too sure about that. If there's one thing we know, in fact, there's a famous quote from the investor Jim Rogers who says, markets can go beyond what you can possibly imagine. So just remember, markets can surprise us. Just like last year uh, when, Mar when Bitcoin went from, uh, you know, 1,000 went to 20,000, nobody could really have predicted that. I know some really smart people who did predict that. But the bottom line is, remember, we cannot possibly um, predict the magnitude of the movement. Uh, although we can uh, predict direction with some ease, the magnitude is not that easy. If we go to the next chart, guys, and that's the second I want to show you. Now, this is on a weekly time frame chart. Now, the reason I want to show you this weekly time frame because there's a major support level beneath Bitcoin, and that's the 200 simple moving average. That's the green line you see on that chart with a red arrow you see right there pointing. Right now, the weekly 200 moving average on the weekly time frame, which, by the way, is an important level. Some people say, well, why the weekly 200 moving average? Because it does seem to have, uh, the markets seem to respect this level. Um, that's at, uh, or is this level at 3,100. So that's another level of support that we need to bear in mind. Uh, three, so in other words, the that's the probably one of the lowest levels of Bitcoin I'm actually looking at right now, 3,100 uh, to 3,500. Uh, and by the way, let me just say this. If Bitcoin were to drop to those levels, uh, I believe that a, a bottom will form at those levels. So in other words, if Bitcoin, and it's a huge if, if it were to break that floor of 6,000 and drop below it, we can probably expect a bottom to form at those levels, at 3,500 to 3,100. Of course, there is a higher level. I mentioned in this video, 4,500 too, so let's not forget that too. But those are the levels I would expect to see buyers joining the market and start accumulating Bitcoin. So mention, it's important to actually remember those levels on Bitcoin. Uh, I believe there's actually a third chart I want to bring to your attention. So I mentioned to you at the start, I am bullish on Bitcoin. 
So even though I mentioned uh, in this video what are the likely targets or levels Bitcoin could drop to if it were to break below 6,000, my personal point of view on Bitcoin, and this has been my point of view for some months now, is that I'm expecting Bitcoin to break higher. Uh, now, this could happen in November, uh, I think more likely, uh, I mean, I was expecting it to happen in October, but it looks like it's going to happen more likely in November. Uh, as long as Bitcoin, I've written that above this chart, as long as Bitcoin remains above 6,000, the probability, there's about a 60 to 70% probability uh, that Bitcoin could actually break to the upside of that triangular, that, 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 that trend line formation there. And if it were to break that, then we're looking for higher levels, uh, potentially to uh, 8,000 to potentially even 10,000 levels on Bitcoin. But uh, as you can see here, I've labeled them more likely, less likely. And by the way, uh, as the markets <laughs> have a peculiar habit of uh, humiliating us, uh, probably the markets will do the exact opposite and uh, we'll see a bit of egg on my face there. But, but look, bottom line is this. There it is. That's my projection on Bitcoin. I'm expecting Bitcoin eventually to break higher. But the good news is this. Even if, we're to, even if we uh, were to break to the downside, at least we have some ideas of where the risk is as well. All right, guys, uh, just wanna, before I finish this video, I just want to say, guys, that please uh, give me your comments. Um, what do you think? Do you agree with uh, what I've said in this video? Give us your comments below this video. And also, uh, please subscribe uh, to this channel for more videos like this. So I really, really appreciate it, guys. Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you like this video as well. Thank you so much.